Hey everyone, Nikki here, Twilight Huntress. So, once again, I've been MIA for a hot minute. Um, things in life are kind of wonky, like everybody's lives, but you know, it hasn't been the greatest, but I'm not gonna dwell on it at the moment. I have a review to do for you today. I actually went to Walmart today to get some feel meal bags because I was given a lot of beet leaves and because I am in this um, sustainability lifestyle change in life. Actually, I have done this intro with my dehydrator going. I have two going at the moment, dehydrating a lot of tomatoes. Me and my friends, my partner, have been doing this constantly for weeks already, but we've got a lot. Anyway, so I went to go buy these bags because I need to put my beet leaves in these bags. I like whatever, suck the air out of them, seal them up, and then I put them in the freezer yet, so they'll stay good for a very long time. Anyway, so of course I walk around Walmart seeing what's on clearance and I'm all like, wow, what is this? Minus the fact that you can buy like the full size plug-in version of it for, let's see, $35 more than I paid. This is a sweet deal and what it can be used for, even sweeter. It is so versatile. I'm going to assume in my world if it works great and it ends up being non-stick, intense, that it'll be one of the best kitchen tools, best all-around tools. So why don't I just show you what I found. So here is the rock griddle. So it has two sides to it. Don't mind my messy stove. Here is the flat side. Here is the side you would do barbecuing on. You can use it on elements like this, right? Or you can use it on a camp stove, on a barbecuer, um, anywhere. You can use it on different types of stoves. Let's see, where did it say that? Anyway, the grilling side. Deep ribbing drains, grease for healthier burgers, steaks, fish, and vegetables. Uh, the griddle side, perfect for eggs, pancakes, and potatoes. Um, this was on clearance for $15, regular $30, so I was quite excited about this. Yes, here it shows. It can be used on a gas stove, electric stove, ceramic stove, halogen stove. And I saw on the reviews that people were using them on camp stoves and on barbecues and stuff, so I definitely would use it for that too. So extra thick cast aluminum for optimal heat distribution, three times more durable non-stick interior, ensures superior scratch resistance and unparalleled, unparalleled release performance, and specially designed integrated cavities to collect excessive grease dishwasher safe. So we're gonna cook up some plain old blade sticks. Nothing super special about them, I just quickly grab something to cook on here, something that I would do on the barbecue, I didn't want to do burgers, because burgers tend to fall apart and I didn't want this little reveal to be a fail, I just wanted it to work. So I'm making these blade steaks for me and my son for supper, I've got some butternut squash in the stove, baking as we speak. I'm going to let those go for another probably 15 minutes before I put these on, but we will see how this little griddle grill performs. Okay, so it is smoking a little bit. My elements, I guess. I thought they were clean, but apparently there's something in there. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I will turn the fan on right away. But I have them both set at high. I don't know if high is too high. There's no real cooking or whatever instructions. It's actually kind of scary because it's leaving a burn mark there. So maybe I will turn this all down a tad it might be I did wash it but hang on a second okay so I switched sides because there was actual something going on there that I am not 100% sure what that was about so we'll see how this side works the only thing that concerns me is I will definitely have to hang on to it to flip things so I may not be able to show you that much of it but um, we'll see how this works. So here goes steak number one. This one's starting to smoke too. I don't know what's going on. Nice, very nice. Steak number two. There we go. Let's see how this plays out and how it works. Okay, so I know steaks you're not supposed to flip them right away, but curiosity has got me so. Oh 
my, oh my, oh my, does that ever look good? Nice. Well, I'm going to continue on cooking these and I'll show you this in a second. So here is a little update. Um, they should probably be almost done because we like them medium rare. So I'm going to cut into them and see what they look like. But I do believe I overcooked them. Yeah. Where did I cut this one? Juicy, but a little bit overcooked. For my liking, anyway. So we're going to take them out. Okay, because I just never have any patience in life. I was going to wash it and cool it off a little quicker than normal. But... The water, like, basically takes it off this... Do you know what? Rock um, appliances, etc. are amazing. So I do a quick wash up. Actual wash up. Like, this side's already running clean just with water. Crazy. Crazy, I say. Cool it all off. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit of soap on there. Brush it down a little bit. Hopefully my scrubber doesn't, you know, melt. Because I'm being a little stupid right now. But I'll see. Oh, yeah. That just... Just come right off. Easy cleanup. Easy, easy cleanup. Impressed. Yep. Best kitchen tool ever. Make sure all of the. There's one. Oh no, came off. Never mind. I say there's one stuck spot, but nope, it's not. Rinse the soap off and I'll see what it looks like. Clean. Can't believe it. Oh, I missed a spot there, but. Didn't know that piece was a little burnt on, but otherwise. Perfect. Anyway, oh, just a quick recap. I think the steaks are actually perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. They may not be medium rare. They may be, no, they're probably medium rare. Just not rare, right? Right. They look Good morning, so everybody. Yummy. So I figured I'd actually add to this. Can you hear that? I have my window open. The Canadian geese are going south for the winter. Lovely, eh? Lovely, not lovely. So fresh farm eggs. I decided to um, try out the grill side of this to show you how well that works. So I am just going to do a long reach for my spatula, have the rest of my breakfast waiting there, and I turned on the elements already. I really need to figure out the perfect, sorry, I am trying to do this one-handed. Oh, and I broke my yolk. Mm. Maybe I won't do this one-handed. Hang on a second. So the plan was not to do three eggs, but I will be doing three eggs. So I decided to try butter this time. Um, see if that keeps the egg from sticking. I'm going to put my little fertilized Fresh Farm chicken egg on. Let's see if that, oh my goodness, I think I broke it again. But I'll just leave it like this for a minute so that, you know, side of brokenness can heal up, possibly, hopefully. But, there we go. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to season it just with some um, pink salt. Coarse black pepper and some organic paprika. Oops. So really, I'm just curious about, okay. Definitely not sticking this time. And I don't know if I mentioned in the beginning of this, do not comment that I should use Pam. I do not believe in using Pam. I will use butter. I will use olive oil, but I will never use that spray stuff. I don't think it's very healthy. 
regardless of how they label or market it. I still don't think it's healthy. So this is basically done, and as you can see, it's definitely not sticking this time, so I'll have to take that into consideration next time I make breakfast or anything that needs to be fried that it can't just be done on the flat surface, unless it's maybe a sausage. But the egg being liquefied when you throw it on, that probably was the issue, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see if I can make a fool out of myself right now. Ooh, I wish, I wish that lip was a little bit. Okay, so I got it off. In my plate, I reheated my... I'll show you right away. Okay, so yes, this is weird, but I don't keep bread in the house usually. I do not have big breakfasts usually, but since I started working out, this is like a good plan, even though it's almost one in the afternoon, but whatever. I had hot dog buns that I am using as toast today. Um, my avocado, I cannot find my avocado seasoning. I have this all, all spice, not all spice, um, everything spice, bagel spice that I use on my avocados usually. Somewhere in my mess of a world. So here we have the one that broke on me, here is the other one, and here is the best of the three. But it works great, and how about I just quickly show you clean up. So here we go with quick clean up. And here's my little brush again. See this, I can do one-handed sort of. So I think I will have to use um, a little bit of dish soap just because of having used butter. As you can see the, the greasy oil staying there. I'll just use a few drops, not much at all. Yes, clean up. Perfect. Just as well as after the steak last night. Like, once again, this is an awesome kitchen tool. Pan, whatever. Yeah, I love it. There's no other words for it. Just rinse off the soap, let it dry, throw it in the pan drawer, and it's good to go. Yes. So anyway, that is the conclusion of my review for the Starfrit, I believe. Was it Starfrit Rock? Yeah, the Starfrit Rock um, stovetop griddle slash barbecue thing. Yeah, let me grab a paper. I have not thrown it out yet. Yes, so this is it. I love it. I'm going to use it a lot. Um, definitely, what I showed you, use a little bit of something under eggs or anything that's liquefied in that way, probably with pancakes too. Probably doesn't need to be as much as I use, but regardless, I had to try something because I didn't want to wreck my third egg. I'm not a breakfast eater, so I like things to be as perfect as humanly possible on my plate. So, have an amazing day, evening, weekend, morning, afternoon, wherever you're at in the world when you watch my video. Do like, subscribe, comment below, except about using Pam because I just will not. Sorry, people. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.